Hi Erica, hopefully this video will help you navigate through your site and make any changes or updates that need to be made. I'm not sure if I told you in the beginning, but your site was built using Joomla, which is a content management system, or CMS. So it makes it a lot more user friendly instead of me throwing a bunch of codes at you. Um, it's built around... Um, a system where you don't have to do very much coding yourself as the end user. Now what I've done is I've logged into your site and I've opened up a preview of the site so that I can look at exactly what we want to change and I'm going to go into the modules to look for the module that has that top banner that I was talking about that we used before when you were advertising your classes um, a few months ago. Once I find it, there's the old banner. I'm going to delete that banner and try to insert the image that you have in place in the front footer. So I couldn't find where you uploaded the actual image into your images so I'm just going to go in and do a real quick banner just to put in place advertising that you're now enrolling. Um, I'm going to speed through this. This is just a Photoshop um, banner that I'm going to do really quick using a screenshot or a copy of the image that you currently have on the front. So now we've saved the banner and I'm back in your site um, in the module that we're uploading the image to and I'm uploading the image so that it'll show up in your images file.
And once it's uploaded, I'll go ahead and insert it into the module and make sure that it's the right size that you want it to be. You can change the sizing um, as you want. I'm just deleting this other text um, as it doesn't apply to this one, but you could always add more text if you would like. When that's done, I'm going to make sure that it's published and everything is showing up the way that it's supposed to. I'm going to save it and then preview it on the other tab to make sure that it's showing up correctly. And I see that it's center, it is not centered, so I'm going to go back in and center this banner so that it shows up centered on the front. I'm sure by now you've looked around on the back end and you see where if you would want to add other menu items um, to have other pages show up on the left hand side of your site, you would do it here. You would add a new menu. But also remember to go in and make a new category if you're if it'll be something other than the categories we already have set. And you were just here earlier today in your components in K2. You were asking about adding another page. Um, my phone died. I apologize. I can't even remember what you were trying to add. But if you wanted to add another page um, that you can link to a, you know, to like your classes page. I'm going to go through and show you how to do that. Um, but I just went into the components and then K2 and then new item. Um, well, I'll be going to add a new item after this and it'll just be called to be announced. So I'm adding the new item and I'm placing it under the classes category and I'm just going to put in the description box coming soon or something like that um, just so that it has something in place and then we're going to save it. And after I save it, you see that it will show up, after I click the classes link, it will show up on top of the classes um, file that you already have in place. So it runs like a continual blog, you know how some blog posts run. So if you wanted to keep building like that, you could. Or you can just make separate um, pages with separate categories. Now I'm just adding some wording just to show you how you would link um, to other pages. Like if you wanted them to go here to see uh, the class link, uh, class schedule, you could insert it as a link to the other pages. And you would just select either contents or one of these um, drill downs 
to get to what the page that you've created or whatever. Um, these were created in articles. And here I'm just clicking that link that we made earlier to show you how it will go to the page, whatever you're linking it to. And this was just a nonsense article that I had put together just for this tutorial.